What's up, people? Rob Barrington here for another day of the weekly challenge. We're on Thursday, board seven and eight. We're playing an Imp's Best Hand tournament, and we have a nice 14 count here. I would usually tend to upgrade this to a one no trumpet in a robot tournament. I don't mind doing that with these kind of 14s that are, you know, not totally balanced, but I don't like this King Queen tight of spades. So, in fact, I'm going to open a diamond. Maybe I get to find a low-level hard fit. Or in this situation, maybe I just get to bid one no trump. And now I feel way more comfortable playing in three no trump here, knowing partner has a full bid of that, right? So here, they're leading a club, which usually I would guess would be either the jack or the 10 to my left. Because it's the robots, we have no guarantee of that being the case. So here, I'm going to play this card, and I'm going to win the ace. Uh, to test this, we could play the nine of clubs right now. I'm actually going to unblock spades first. And honestly, I'm going to lead a low diamond towards that jack. And the reason I'm doing this is just to try to set up some tricks on both sides of the table. I may have an entry problem, but yeah, I was I was hoping the ace would get played there, and it did not, unfortunately. Uh, but now, now the question is, what do we do? I've kind of given up the opportunity to guess this club suit. I'm unblocking the club just in case I get to my hand. I can lead a low club towards that eight over there and be pretty successful. Here, I'm just going to play a diamond. Now what are they going to do? Okay, good. They're hooking me up with a trick here. And now I need three more, right? There's my try. And there's three more. All right. Uh, I was okay with this one because now uh, if I lost that, by the way, when I played the eight, if it loses to the jack, my opponent has bad choices, right? I know they don't have any diamonds left, so they either lead a spade, or they could have a diamond left, excuse me, but they either have to lead a spade into my finesse or a heart into my king. Uh, and at this pace here, now that I've won the queen, I'm going to play the ace of spades, and now that spade pitch is even worse, right? As now I get to play that ten of spades, and now I'll hook them up with a trick here in hearts. Two tricks, really. Did they have the diamond over there? Yeah, there it was. So they had that beer card at the end. Hey, everyone owns East of Beer here. Uh, if you're not familiar, if you win a trick with the Seven of Diamonds, and it's not the Trump suit, if you win the last trick of the hand with the Seven of Diamonds, everybody at the table owes you a beer, folks. That's the Seven of Diamonds, and watch it. Uh, at this point, uh, once those honors are split, and in a realistic sense, I would be very confident that Club Finesse would win, uh, meaning once I see this first trick, I know West led fourth best you know, normal West, not robot West. Uh, so they must have an honor. So here I can kind of create the opportunity for this later once I clear out space. And this is a weird hand where I should have kind of taken a little more time and discussed more of this. It's a transportation issue because we have kind of unblocking situations in both suits, diamonds and spades, where we kind of want to create tricks in each spot and we're unable to do so, you know, when we don't have all the entries to each side. So here, here's my play here as I unblock the nine. Now I know if I am allowed back to my hand, I can take two club tricks because now when I play the nine out of my hand, if I kept it there and it won, I'm stuck over here. I can't get back to that side. So what I'm creating is if that finesse is going to win, which I think it might, when I play the three, the eight will hold over there. And there we get to have our trick. And watch this. Once I win this card, folks, at this point when I play a club, I, I'm pretty confident that the worst East could do. Uh, I, I mean, it could be bad if they do have the diamond. But if they don't have the diamond, they're just end played. If they don't have the diamond, they have the club. Now they either have to give me the king of hearts or the spade position. And this was extra bad because now when it went queen of clubs, they chose to pitch a heart. And that's just uh, rough for them also. Right, because now, excuse me, pitch the spade, which gives us that extra spade. But again, we could just end play them again on this end. So it's pretty weird. Uh, we'll take plus six thirty. That's all I want to say, and we'll go to board eight, and we're in. Ha! <laughs> We're in fourth chair, and it's the rule of fifteen, folks. It's funny I referenced this earlier in the session. Uh, when we're in fourth chair, and here we know with the whole hand. By the way, everyone has ten points because we're in a best hand tournament. So no one can have a better hand than us. In fact, no one can have anything more than 10 points because we have exactly 10. The rule is we take our high card points and we add the total number of spades to that number. If it comes to 15 or more, we should open. And this is another hand where I happen to, I'm more confident that I'm going to buy this contract in one spade or somewhere low that I'm going to open a spade. When I open a minor, the opponents have more chances to get in, as we saw earlier. But we, we played three diamonds on the one hand where we opened light. Here we're going to do it again and hope we are batting a 1,000 this session. One spade, I'm going to pass anything they bid. 
except two clubs. And <laughs> I love this one, folks. I get to play a nice two spades with 10 opposite 10. And uh, we'll hope we survive. They give us a nice free finesse on the opening lead. Thank you. Uh, but we're in two, we're still in two. It's not. This is not a home run so far. We still have to get the dummy and play some spades. We have three club losers. We just want to avoid losing too many uh, spade tricks. Don't get off to a club. There we go. There we go. We want this. Okay, okay, okay. Now we get to pitch a club on a heart. And then we'll play that ten of spades over there. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking lowly because I don't want to be rough. No. No. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we traded and diamonds aren't breaking badly for us. I've, I'm doing a lot of hoping in this session. Ugh, yuck. Yuck is. Okay. Come on. Going minus is very, very bad for us, folks. And it's very bad for us because, guess what? The opponents at the other table are always, always, always going to go zero on this hand. They're going to go plus or minus zero. So here we lost um, we lost 100. So we lost four imps, I think that is. All right. Uh, luckily, we gained on the other one around the same. We gained 110. And let me just take you to the scoring table over here. Uh, let me remind you, this is the hand we opened relatively light last time, right? That we know the robot's not going to open. Plus 110. We swung the same direction this way. By opening a spade, we found our way to two spades. And unfortunately, it's just a rough contract. Uh, once we pitch, uh, we didn't get a we didn't get a successful pitch, unfortunately, right? So we we wanted just either the diamonds to be raking evenly or the hearts to be raking less than crazy, right? With Reddy having five hearts, we when they don't cash their clubs, I thought we were kind of ahead of the game. But once they rough that heart, it's a trade off of tricks. As soon as I pitch a club, it just becomes a loser on loser play. Watch what happens. Here it is. All right, so jack of hearts, ace of hearts. I'm hoping I'm just pitching a loser, but when they rough it, now it's a loser. Loser on a loser play. Yuck. As it turns out, take a look, folks. Watch goes ace of clubs and then diamond. Uh. <laughs> At this point, here's an, what we call a Trump promotion, folks. If we play the king of spades, they'll pitch and the queen will always be a trick. If we try to rough lower, they will, of course, win the queen of spades and cash that trick. And now we're just dead in the water also. So that's it for that session. So I know we're losing on that one. And uh, board seven, we should have something reasonable on it i i i think we're gonna be uh I, I can't tell i can't tell we'll find out let's join me tomorrow and we'll find out together but i'll see you then folks and take a look at this next hand <laughs> it's pretty nice i wonder what we're gonna do i'll see you tomorrow and find out